Welcome to Cooking with Granny and Mama Soul Kitchen. Today we have spiked hot apple cider for the adults, everybody. <laughs> Grandmother. <laughs> All right, so what we do is we usually get a gallon of our preferred apple juice. We want the dirtiest apple juice, which is like not filtered or whatever. But look at this, either honey crisp or the really good dark apple cider. Now, we also will add fireball cinnamon whiskey at the end, everybody. Yes, 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 yes. Now, my pet peeve is people get apple juice mixed up with cider. It's supposed to be cider, everybody. That's why it's called apple cider, okay? Now, we're going to add in eight cinnamon sticks and 25 cloves throughout of our potion here. We're going to put it into the crock pot. Now, we're going to cook it, everybody, okay? We're going to put plenty of this. This adds a lot of flavor to your cider, okay? Now, we're going to put it on high in the crock pot overnight or four to eight hours. The longer, the better. Just remember, the longer, the better. Your apple cider is going to be perfect and marinated with so many flavors throughout. And it smells so good through the house when it's like cooking like that. Yes, right, right, right. It makes your house smell really nice. Now we're going to add in some fireball whiskey. Now we can put it inside of our cups when we already pour it into our glass and everything like that. And then we add a little bit of whiskey in there, okay? Now we don't want to get it too overloaded because we want to make sure we do it respectfully and healthily. Now, we also have our cookbook on Amazon, which is the Just Desserts Child Cookbook, everybody. You got to have some scrumptious good old desserts to eat with these good old filtered drinks and nice drinks. Let me tell you, happy holidays. And if you like what you see, make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button below. We have a lot more coming soon.